Hi there. So Logic Pro 11.1 came out with uh, quite many improvements and uh, few that relates to workflow that and are long due. Uh, however, when I started to install the, or I wanted to install the Logic Pro 11.1 into my uh, Mac Studio, I noticed that it, it isn't it isn't in my app store so what the heck and um, then I go went and find, found out that you need to have a Sonoma in place and I was running a Ventura um, the latest version of Ventura and I uh, was not able to of course see it in an app store for that reason and uh, then I had a kind of a long thought uh, that okay should I now jump into the Sonoma it's quite mature and uh, it should not blow up to my face too much. Um, it, it didn't, but then still I, you know, you need to go through all your configurations to find out that everything works and you might need, you might need to update certain things a bit um, and, and, and so on and so forth. I did also update um, uh, my Universal Audio Apollo Twin from Mark II to X and uh, I'll do another video on that one. Uh, so, uh, so, so yeah, so kind of a chain of updates then took place. And uh, however, let's now dive into what workflow improvements uh, Logic Pro 11.1 Pro in. So let's dive in. All right, so Logic Pro 11.1 came out with uh, certain workflow improvements. There were improvements, other great improvements, new VSTs, effects that came in, but I, I will only focus on the workflow improvements here and show that what were the kind of the things that came out. And uh, I'm kind of doing this panorama view so that you see what's on my desk and what is on my iPad. And and then, then you know, you can um, you can kind of see that what is what is kind of the workflow for me in general? Um, one thing, of course, is that um, I also went back from uh, SoftTube uh, Fader One to SSL UF8, UF8, uh, and um, the reason is that this I feel is still better for the workflow than the Console One Fader Mark Three from SoftTube. But I'll I'll do another session on that. Uh, that why I actually reverted back to the SSL UF8. So let's get going with Logic Pro X and and see that what were the improvements. Uh, and the one thing was at least that um, now you can actually go into a track and and bring in bring in plugins by searching. So uh, you can go into the audio effect section and you get the search. But then if you want to speed up things with that, you can actually go and and um, what I did with with um, I, I'm using a Metagrid IO, so I, I'll, I'll put the link down, but I, I did a, uh, a a table where I have my most used um, plugins. So if I need to now bring in, um, I need to bring in a ProQ, I just go and press ProQ and it runs and, and brings ProQ for me. Uh, secondly, if I want to bring an LA to a uh, compressor, it goes and brings that for me. So, so that's kind of way that I can now bring in any of these uh, plugins uh, into and uh, and use it um, use it um, and and get it quickly in place. And then, of course, I can navigate into uh, if I would need to have an insight for this. So I can then just basically run these keyboard commands that I have programmed in here. So like, let's, let's just take an example of what I have done. So I have like for ProQ, I have a macro. Um, command control P actually will open the search. Um, and then you will need to, of course, type in what the plugin is that you want to bring in. And then I have some wait time and, and then a return in order to kind of run the macro through. But um, you can basically, if you are here and you, you press kind of like, I think com control command, control command P, uh, it will bring you this search and it will insert the plugin for the track. So if I like to bring in SS, uh, Dreamer SS37, then it will go and load that for me. So that's basically 
it. Okay, hello, where are you? Now it comes. Um, there is some performance challenges, I think, with this um, Logic Pro X, sorry, Logic Pro 11 one, because as you saw, it took quite a long time to bring in the plugin into, into, um, into the Logic. Um, however, this is something that kind of like makes things a lot faster. So, so now you can also, of course, you can search instruments. So if I would like to change this instrument, I can go with command and, and uh, click, I can go and uh, remove. Um, and then if I want to bring another um, uh, other instrument, I can actually easily do that by searching. So um, I don't need to anymore to go kind of through those uh, tedious menus, which is, I've, I found it painful. So so this one is, is, is a lot easier to kind of uh, bring in and, and use. Uh, so that's about searching and getting plugins and you can actually search everything you got you have most likely seen that you can search uh, buses you can search pretty much all kind of things but this is at least from my point of view one great improvement to the workflow and what logic has been missing is to easily search locate instruments and plugins and then bring them in into your channel or your uh, your um, uh, your uh, instrument channel so in in this uh, is in this way you can easily then uh, you know get uh, things another thing what I did but this has been in logic pro X is and that's why also I took this um, I took the SSL uf8 back was that I have programmed these soft soft keys in SSL UF8, I can show what, what that basically means. Um, so I have programmed these keys to control things in my door. And that's one big thing, at least for me, compared to the Softube uh, console one fader that you are not able to program or do any of these type of controls that you have in a UF8. And for me, that is a, at least a huge gain on a on on a uh, on a workflow, because I can easily kind of go and and then you know do different type of controls here. So what I would like to use, and 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 then then of course I can use also um, also the meta grid to do things like I could basically go and and. Uh, locate uh, locate things um, easily with this one um, and, and and run macros from here play or or so uh, let's go actually to let's go into the instrument because it's not the right sound that I would like to use so now if I play so so that's that's one thing. But then another thing is that now in a mixer, you can actually arrange channels and uh, uh, you can basically drag and drop them in, in, in the order that you would like to use them and, and see them. So um, you, you don't need to kind of, uh, you are not bound to the order of how you created them and how you have them. And it will also change as you have seen in some videos how the how to um the, it will change it also in arranger um as well as in the grid so if you are using a grid view you 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 see it also there so this one is kind of the one one big thing also that people have been asking is that you can rearrange the channels in the mixer and then of course searching plugins instruments and then one additional that they did was that they they brought more um they brought more um, features to bounce in place so now you can actually basically uh, ha you have an option that you have more options to kind of do the bounce in place and, and and how to utilize that so this kind of start to be a similar in a way that you would what you have in a cubase 14 or in cubase when you are doing a, a bounce bounce in place in cubase but anyway this is something that they also enhance so that you you get more options when you when you want to utilize this and uh, and then that's basically another 
another thing that I think which makes and brings improvement into the workflow. But I think these were the main main topics regarding on it. But I, I think you you were wondering that what the heck I'm doing because I'm I'm selecting a channel and I'm pressing a key and I'm getting a plugin open. So that's maybe a bonus, but that has been in a in a Logic Pro for a while. So you need to go into the key commands and edit assignments, and then uh, you you find you find inserts. Um, so you can actually program open close audio insert plugin uh, for the focus track. And so what I have done, I have done so exactly here. So I have done my own um, keyboard shortcuts, and then I have programmed them them into into my SSL. Um, UF8 as you see so so you can see that I can easily then bring bring the plugins from the selected track and I don't need to I don't need to use mouse in that respect I can easily you know see that you know what is what is what is here I can go and tweak it I could also go here and do the navigation so if I put the focus mode I can actually use this instead of mouse and, and then if I go here and then again I put no navigation, I can use the controller to control it. So this is actually pretty damn neat. And uh, and then also of course if you are, um, let's go like, uh, let's go to the Moog channel and, and let's take the compressor. Um, so now if I go here, I can put the focus mode in and I can I can then, you know, dial in the numbers that I, I want to have like in, in gain or if I go here in a peak I can do the same. So this is actually extremely handy what you have in a UF8 is that when you are on top of the control you can use this big dial to, to kind of dial in the values and, and uh, it works in a, any control. So um, so that's that list that is actually for me and it is a great one because I can just go on top and and start uh, tuning in the parameters and and that's something that you don't directly have in a, co a soft tube um, console fader one I do want to use the console uh, in a sense that if I for example if I now go and uh, close this one in the, if I want to bring in the console one console here so I just add it and and then I'll I'll have it here um, installed so um, so now basically it's interestingly how long it takes to upload the upload the you know the the plugin so there's something weird going on for sure uh, but now of course I can get this overlay so for the for the for the soft tube console, I can now then use, of course, this. So if I play and okay, now let's move it to the right track. So let's go there and uh, let's loop that one. So now, if I go and I want to tweak it, I, I can actually tweak it from here. Whatever I want to do, but anyway, that's just an example that you know um, that works nicely. This combination works nicely as well. So the uh, SSL UF8 and 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 um, uh, channel one from uh, SoftTube console um, one setting. So alrighty. So that was uh, Logic Pro 11.1 with. Uh, at, in my eyes the main workflow improvements that they did and I said there were many improvements other improvements in 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 the release but from a workflow point of view those were the main things and then I had an ad additional bonus for you if you didn't know that you can actually have key commands for plugin open and close for the selected track that you can actually do in logic as well uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please like the video if you really like them and uh, remember to subscribe for my channel to support my doings uh, thanks for watching by now till the next time